question. Identity is very important. I, I said it recently not too long ago to somebody that every strong um, country, I've done my own analysis and looking at powerful countries and I see what they have in common. It's like believing in themselves mm. and being into themselves. Ghana, I was born and bred in Ghana and mm. my love for Ghana is, is like serious. I've been everywhere in the world and everywhere comes second to Fact. Ghana. The only problem we have now is because Africa has been split into yes. countries. Yep. But if we see Bernard as African, yep. then these fights won't happen. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I agree. Yes. I so agree. first and foremost is for Africa. Bernard Facts. took it. We just all have to celebrate. Facts. And it op opens the door for to everybody else, else to be able to come through. So let's talk about the album No Pressure. Yeah. What was the mindset going into this album and where did it come from? You're listening to Adi Shokbe Live, the Afrobeats podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to a special edition of Adi Shokbe Live, the official Afrobeats podcast with a superstar in the building, an icon all the way from West Side Africa, Gold Coast to be exact, from Ghana. It's the legend. Sarkodie, my brother. My biggest boss. Hey, hey. My Mr. Shopsy. Listen, bro, um, you. thank you for coming through. Thank you so much for having me as well. Listen, I, I, you know, I'm a, I'm a, let's just get it off. I'm a big fan. I've been a, a huge fan and supporter from day one mm. for what you've added to the culture, not only with the music, but also just bringing, carrying, putting Ghana on your back. Mm. I think nowadays, one of the things that possibly lacks in the entertainment industry is identifying with where you're from mm. and with your people. And you've done that from day one. Talk to me just right out of the gate how important it is to rep GH to the fullest in everything you're doing, bro. Yeah, man, it's very, very necessary, brother. And you got something out of the way. Let me mm. get something out of the way as mm. well. Shopsy, your energy is everything. I know you get that a lot. Thank you, but brother. But just to be with you, I want you to understand that your energy is what we need, especially in our community as mm. Afrobeat, to mm. be able to thrive and get to the next level. I love what you bring on the table, what you bring in the game, how infectious that is Thank you, for bro. a lot of us. I see how you enjoy the music, like you really are into the music. Yes, sir. You sing? Yes. I, I don't, man. <laughs> it's only in the car, in the studio, and in the bathroom. But yeah. you, you, make yeah. it, you make us enjoy our own music in a different way. <laughs> Thank Bless you, bro. Bless you. Thank yeah, you. so um, for the question, identity is very important. I, I said it recently, not too long ago, to somebody that every strong um, country, I've done my own analysis and looking at powerful countries and I see what they have in common. It's like believing in themselves mm. and being into themselves. Mm. Um, one of my favorite cities to go is, is Paris. And I can check in the hotel and then you have the receptionist not speaking English. And I'm like, so how, how do you even... Run? But I love it. You know, they're so proud of who they are and then they embrace it. So that is what I've always been in. I never learned about it. But I think naturally mm -hmm. I'm somebody who's very patriotic and believe in my surroundings. I'm very used to the things that I'm used to. Um, I'm trying to switch it up a little bit, but mm -hmm. I've, I've always stayed consistent to what I love. Right. And Ghana, I was born and bred in Ghana. And mm -hmm. my love for Ghana is, is like serious. I've been everywhere in the world and everywhere comes second to Facts. Ghana. So... Um, I love my people and it's only right that if I'm going on different platforms, I carry my people with me and make sure that uh, you know where I'm coming from and what I'm repping. So it's very, very necessary for me as a person. The last one year has been difficult for everybody, you know, with regards to the pandemic. Creatives, uh, I believe, even suffered a lot more. I know you were probably even in America for, yeah. for months yes. before you could go back home. Talk to me about how this incredible change affected you as a creative and as a person what 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 did this last 12 months do for you or do to you yeah man we all were not expecting it right mm. so i had a lineup promo for black love your favorite album <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Talk about that. i really wanted to go all out with black love i wanted wow. to be on every platform and push it but um that that moment made me believe about we always saying God willing, mm. you know, because we take that thing for granted. We just say, oh, shops, you'll see you tomorrow. Mm. You know, mm. that's what we feel. But sometimes what we plan is not what's going to happen. Right. So I think I was in Spain shooting an Aju video with Kim Promise. Kim Promise as yeah. soon as I think we got back and then I had to go to the States to start the States promo, then the shutdown wow. just happened. And then I was, I was there for four months 
in a room, an apartment, wow. didn't step down. And it was intense in the beginning. In the yeah, States, it was people really didn't exactly, understand what it was. Everybody was scared, and I was scared. I uh, couldn't even get to the elevator. I was so paranoid. You don't want to yeah, touch the button. Touch exactly. Anything. So I was literally indoor. I had people come in to bring me some food stuff. Mm. Um, yeah, I was indoor for four months. Then I came to London to do two months, and I went to Ghana. Yeah, but that period just, I think it was good and bad. I missed performing, mm. definitely. Then it made every, every business, especially with music, because I know music, strategize on how moving forward you can position yourself as an artist to mm. face times like this. But the good side is I realized that few businesses were exposed to learn. Music, to me, the good side is I realized that that was when people were actually listening Listen. to music. Yeah, we listen. So then you get to understand how important music is. Yeah. In that, in those times, you see how important entertainment is Facts. to life. Facts. So as much as people saw our work to be, oh, you're just an entertainer. It's hmm. nothing serious. Like, oh, you're just... Now I appreciate it. Exactly. Because our lives depended exactly. on that. Exactly. You needed that. The same way you needed a doctor. Hmm. That's the same way you needed entertainment. Because you could go crazy if you Facts. just... Facts. Can you imagine without music, movies, and being locked down? Nah, it would have been hell. Exactly. So um, I learned a lot. I've seen trying to position myself to... Um, build on sac nation yeah. i can build streaming business wise and so that you don't necessarily need to be on the stage it should be an option that you, yeah. you feel like you want to perform to the fans but i think if if performance was your strongest hold definitely it's going to hit you hard Facts. um Facts. i've always been an artist that believe in performing at my own concerts so i do less concerts in the year so yeah. i didn't really feel the difference that much because i don't do too many shows so it, it wasn't but the fact that I knew I was not going to be able to do it. Mm, that if was you wanted to. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I always make that analysis. Like, we're in this room, right? If they should shut the door and lock it without telling us, we won't panic. We won't we'll panic. still have a nice conversation. Yeah. But, but as soon they as they tell it. us, yo, guys, I'm going to take the keys. I'll be back in two hours. <laughs> yes, we start freaking out. <laughs> so that's what the pandemic was mentally for mm. all of us, that you know you can't perform. So yeah. I wanted to perform. Yeah. So, yeah, I think that was the, the hardest part. But I think in all... Um, it taught us a lot, and I took the positive out of it. You talked about black love, um, which I, I constantly stress to people. I was blessed when I got I got to Ghana, maybe like uh, just before Christmas mm. in in 2019. Okay. And the album had just dropped, probably a couple of weeks before then. Mm. So I soaked it in right at the beginning mm. of of touching down and listening i was listening to brand new projects at the time and one of my favorite things to do is try to listen to a project from top to bottom consistently before i start to pick my favorite songs yes. and with black love i was very happy because not only did i just naturally listen from top to bottom I loved absolutely everything. Off the top of my head, I can tell you the collaborators. Wow. That's how crazy it is. I know wow. Kiss Daniel's there, Techno's there, Mali Berry's there, Toneo's there, King mm. Promise is there, Kiddie's there, you know, uh, Sister Fia is there, M BC, <laughs> K BC, K Yes. I listened to everything. Wow. wow. Because that album for me, it, one of the reasons why I liked it so much was because I felt for every rapper in Africa, mm. black love symbolized what rappers should do at a specific time, time. which mm. was bring absolutely every fan on the table. Mm. If you're a rap fan, I've got something for you. Mm. If you like your incredible choruses, mm. there's something for you. If you mm. want to go straight to the dance floor, I got you covered. True. And that is one of the hardest things for rappers to really tackle. How did you, you know, make that decision with Black Love? Mm. And how did you find the process of recording it and finding the right collaborations for such a project? Yeah, so I'm somebody that I'm not really the outgoing type. I think you probably figured mm, that out mm. by now. You so like to be in yes, your I own like space. to be in my own space in my own corner and just observe. And I've been like that since childhood. I think even Sarko they changed me to be a bit more like out there because mm. my job you have to be out there. But personally, I like to observe. I like to sit back and look at even my my life play out. Mm. I go to YouTube and just watch since Sarko they started till now. So I really. Mm know how to watch things as take myself out of myself mm. and just watch me mm. you know so when i do that i realize that okay you've been here this is what was suspected at this point i don't think they want this mm. you know so i look at myself as a fan would want to like criticize mm. i don't i don't always get it right 100 percent, but at but least you assess. exactly i have an idea and i'm the type of person that we have people who criticize you from a very um an honest place it's not yes. like they have anything against yep. you i can yep. feel it and when i when i hear those things you can see somebody say something you're like actually you know that's true hmm. and if 
random people are saying the same thing and they don't know each other, mm. it might be true. Mm. So I look at those things and it inspire me on the next thing to do. So I think right after uh, Highest Album, which yep. was very like hip hop, yep. you, you were at the session. Yep. So I felt it that no, you can't, you can't come with the same thing again. You mm. have to switch up the sound. That's the same thing that happened to me when I did Mary. I did a whole live, yep. live album. album. Exactly. Yep. So if I feel that difference that I would, I would follow what I'm feeling. So that's always been the case with, with my project. I don't wow. force myself to record until I'm inspired. And Black Love at that point, um, I'll give it up to, I was already recording, but as soon as Beyonce dropped the, the project Black, that had, mm, um, the Black is King yes. project, gifted album. Yeah. Yes, that inspired it a lot as well. Wow. You know, so I was like, yeah, this is the right time. Like, I mm. think it's now. And yes, I had I had this incredible music with all these artists. Kiss, um, we did two records. No, I sent him two songs. So Poku yeah. was, so it was up to me to decide so if I which take one which one I'm going to keep. <laughs> so I let mm. him keep Poku and then I kept... Uh, What's that one? Which one? Uh, yeah, the name is which one? Yeah, yeah, which one? Yeah, yeah. So I kept that, and then he kept that, and then the other songs was organic. Some of them come to Ghana, some will link up. Wow. They send the, the verses. So as soon as I realized that this was the body of work, all the choruses were dope. There were songs that it doesn't have to be a sacco their song. These are just good songs. Mm. It just happens to be for sacco. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yep. So I powdered up, and I felt like it was ready to go. I just gave it to the people, and thank God for for the feedback. I just feel like the album was so heavy that I could have given so much to it you know I think it could have you know but like you said yeah. you know the pandemic yeah. what was was a it was a very difficult part but one thing that I also have to to say to you that I was very grateful mm. about black love was the concerts yes that live concert <laughs> bro I'm telling you like out of my favorite moments in the last 12 months um the black love concert is definitely one of my top wow. five moments. Wow. I, I'm, like, I, anytime I talk about it, mm. I see it. I see mm. you starting from the top of the, top. The, the, the gate just by that yeah. star, that star, black, black star. star. Do you understand what I, <laughs> I, I saw you coming down. I know that's how important, because at that time we were yearning for entertainment. We True. were yearning for, talk to me about deciding mm. to, to, to do that especially using those iconic images yes. and bringing the brothers and sisters that joined you on stage as mm. well to perform. Because uh, to me, you might have thought you were performing to people in Ghana. That, bro, you were performing well, to right. all of us. True. Well, 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 true. Right. True. We true. were true. there with you, man. Talk true. to me about that. Yeah, man, Black Love, definitely. That's one of the biggest highlights. Mm. Um, and it's just funny because it's in a very let's say bad timing as in mm. the the pandemic but then that was one of the best shows facts i i i, I agree with you facts. even compared to the ones with people in the auditorium this could stand facts you know especially when it has to do with the production and everything um what i've been able to be uh good in mm. and be blessed with is being able to spot out the right people to join the team mm. so i think most of the things i've done in my career some yeah i come up with um, what I want to do, but a lot of the things that I do has to do with the team that I, that's around me. Mm. That see me beyond what I see. Yeah. So when you when you take it from the first time I did the Apollo in the States, it wasn't my idea. It was a guy called Terry. Mm. He's in the States. He's part of the team. He came up with it. Wow. The uh, O two Indigo. Yeah. That was um, DJ Abrantia. Wow. Came up with the idea. Killed it. This show that you're talking about is Jay. You know, that's wow, yes, no, Jay, you're kidding me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he saw something that's that sick, I just had to bro. just because I believe them, you know, wow. I, I have a level of trust. So when they say this will go, I don't really have to. Some sometimes I'll be a bit, yeah, exactly, yeah. but this one I was like, actually performing at the Black Star Square, that was crazy. Bro. So I just went to drive past it and I was looking at it, and no one has done it. They have shot videos, like music videos, but it's really hard to get like the permit to perform. Yeah. So we went you know, but you you have <laughs> obviously come on, you're sack or this is gone. We, we have you to have pull a couple some strings. Numbers. Exactly. Yeah. We have to pull some strings here and there. But it, it wasn't that easy hmm. though. It still had to go through because it's a, a very it's a secure respectful, exactly, respectable exactly. place. So they had to check what I really wanted to do. And Black Love, obviously, you know, it stands for us. And I wanted to project Ghana. If you think about Ghana, that's one spot that you look at. So, yeah. And 
the production team, shouts to A team, shouts hey. to Apefa for doing incredibly well on the camera. <sighs> All these guys, the sound the guys, Frankie, lights, everything was just perfect. Yeah. It was it was so good. It was too it was good. So good. Like I was on the website, the website crashed. Yes. I went listen. And they I, shouts to Seek. Because Seek Believe. I don't think they expected how hungry we were going to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, even me, I didn't. I, look, listen, I knew people were going to watch, but yeah. for how they were going to troop in, I had no idea. Wow. So, um, yeah, but Seek just believing in the fact that this is something worth supporting. Mm. I take my hats off to them. And they have been supportive. Even on this new project, they are supporting a lot. Wow. And I think um, we need platforms like that. Platforms like Seek um, mm. is what people should be looking at in the future. Because Seek actually suits the time of COVID because that's what they've been Online about. Online based. Virtual, exactly. Facts. So it was just a perfect timing to meet them at the right time and just make magic. No, yeah. that was crazy. Magic was made. Mm. You know, you brought your brother Shatawali yes. out there as well, which was a big surprise. Big surprise. My <laughs> heartbreak was you couldn't perform <laughs> Strength of a Woman, which was one of oh. my biggest. Bro. I, I love that song. You don't know. That. Listen. I think my favorite song. I don't think anybody knows or anybody understands the power of that record. Yes. Because you have to listen to word for word. I know you love that, that song, though. That record is <laughs> mad. Because as an African man mm. raised by a, a woman, grandmother, everything, I think most of the time we don't get the opportunities to really celebrate the strength yes. of a woman mm. until sometimes somebody points it out, True. maybe in a record True. or maybe in situations. And I think that record you know, was a perfect advert for that. Mm. I know there was a falling out, but mm. you guys are brothers. Mm. Stone Boy, obviously a mm. brother of yours. Mm. You, are, you are an icon in the game. Mm. How do you advise young artists to, to, you know, to set differences aside, especially when, when little mistakes and mishaps like mm. this happen? What would you say? And hopefully, I hope you guys have picked up the phone to ring each other. Definitely. What I would say is... Um, in my whole career, hmm. the reason why I've been able to sail through for a very long time is because I always look at bigger picture, hmm. right? There is always something way bigger than anything you're looking at. So that is what keeps me going. Hmm. So, but obviously I'm, I'm human. I'm not, the reason why I like you, I have few people that I follow online that I really like their energy. Um, Nikki the Baba. Oh, I love Nikki. Nikki is a genius. You know, the energy that he brings. Mm. Shopsy, definitely. So that's what I'm drawn to. I mm. like I like post I'm pretty Positive sure you vibes. have stuff that you Absolutely. Know, but Absolutely. you try to keep the energy right because yeah. there is a bigger picture. You know, whatever that's going percent. on, you can you can quiet all of that and just focus on the bigger yep. picture. Yep. Do I have to have an issue with you to stop this bigger dream? No, mm. it's not worth it. Mm. Let me just celebrate. Let's just get the bigger picture because I'm not even doing it for you. I'm doing it for myself. Facts. Facts. You know, just me trying to win can let you benefit because 100%. I'm trying to win, so I don't need that extra energy. Mm. So what I can tell young artists coming up is, you know, just breathe for a second, think about it. Is it really worth, mm. you know, stopping a, a magical moment? Yeah. You know, if if it's worth it, I, 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 everybody's relative. Everybody yeah. have their limits, but I can say that most times it's not really worth it. So Facts. try to keep, you know, the ball rolling. Look at the bigger picture. Quiet it out, like. You know, just keep it going. Yeah. You know, don't entertain any energy that can distract. So right. that's what I can tell, you know, young artists. And speaking about, you know, entertaining energies that can distract, today I saw a video on social media that I posted of where a woman was talking about the top five countries with the hottest guys in Africa. She went with uh, Congo first. I, I, I believe she went with Ghana second. But for me, there was a problem because <laughs> she used two Ghanaian male pictures in there. And for me, we need to disqualify that. You know what I mean? Oh, wow. So every, every other person was Every like, country, every country she, put one. One person, she put Nigeria number four, which I thought was a little questionable. Uh -huh. But my problem was with Ghana. Two guys, I think you need to disqualify them. Oh, yeah. In I the need top to go, five. I need to go check it out. <laughs> but Ghana should have been number one. <laughs> now, my brother, 2021, yeah. um, you know, no Fugazi mm. dropped. This, the, the, the imagery on your social media, the branding, Everything just changed. Yes. All of a sudden, you know, people knew that it was almost tunnel vision Saturday. Mm. There's something coming. Then the announcement that the album's coming. No pressure. Let's talk about this brand new pressure, this brand new album. Coming out for Black Love and switching gears into this. I've been blessed enough mm. to listen to some of the records coming from that. And listen, 
it's going to be difficult for me to find a, a Sarkozy album that I'm not a fan of. So I'm going to put that out as a disclaimer. <laughs> so yeah, you understand yeah, what I mean. I However, you've already, you know, I'm I'm gone off of No Fugi. Like that's a that's a smash mm. hit. So let's talk about the album No Pressure. Yeah. What was the mindset going into this album, and where did it come from? Yeah. So it's been over 10 years mm. in the industry, having a spotlight on you. Mm. I always compare an artist's career, like your whole career, to a stage performance. Mm. So a stage performance, when you're called, yeah, at least they know you a little bit. People scream and say, mm. ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Shopsy. Mm. Everybody say, yay. Yeah. And you come and they see you. That's another like highlight, they're screaming. Mm. But then if you have a, a 30 minutes performance, you need to give them a reason to be on their feet for 30 minutes because they have the songs in their homes. Facts. Um, they probably listen to the songs maybe even more than you. Facts. So they need a reason to be on their feet. They appreciate you, but then you have to give them a reason. And that's what, exactly. And that's when the work comes in. Hmm. That's when you have to find a way to keep. That's why I, I take my hats off to artists who can be on stage for like three hours hmm. and still get the people involved in what you're doing. So that's wow. what I take my career as, or everybody's career. So when you come in, oh, that's a new guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then um, controversies come, mm. whatever. Now we are tired of your voice. Mm. We're tired of the sound. Oh, we need somebody else to overthrow this guy. Mm. You have to go through all of that. So it's few artists who will, who will be able to sail through smoothly. Not mm. smoothly, but at least try to find a way to sail through. And at this point, for as long as I've, I've been in the spotlight and having the light on me for that long, mm. Obviously, there will be pressure because you have to try to top up everything you've done Deliver. in the 10 years all the time. Damn. You know, so sonic-wise, rap, what are you going to say that we, we haven't heard? What cadence of rap haven't I tried in my hmm. whole career? Like, every type of cadence. There's no beat I've not that tried. you haven't tried exactly. to write. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, there is a lot of pressure on me asking what you're going to say, how you're going to bring it out, the sound. But psychologically, to... To, to help me work, I need to say no pressure. Hmm. Can you guys just allow me just create? Because what I don't want to do is, I've seen a lot of artists fall Follow off. Follow what's of, going. Yes, they fall off because of pressure, because they are telling you this is what you're supposed to do. Hmm. But I've been able to do it for 10 years because I know how to quiet out everything and just be in my zone and do music that I like. Hmm. And then hopefully the people like it as well. Business-wise, I'll go out to see what's was in there and drop one or two of that in there but yeah. I don't want to take away the core of Sarkozy mm. so at this point where the pressure is even way more than when I started I'm telling myself no pressure mm. and there's less creativity thriving freedom let me just have a free mindset to create organic music and that's what you know this album is about just to do what I feel like at this point Facts. you know because I I don't have time to like read all comments that come from fans, but I know I get a lot of we we want the old <laughs> exactly <laughs> we, we want, want you on the bar. <laughs> they need you on them bars you know? yeah you want the old Ooh. sock old sock oh and then my like, okay God. that's a lot of pressure but I, maybe I don't feel like what you want to hear um, but let me just create and trust me you're going to love it and that's what I did on this album so I said no pressure let me just relax and do what I like and I I'm assuring you that you you're going to like it as well. Collaborators, Wale, um, tis, the landlord. Tis. <laughs> Boy, I feel like I need to wheel that back. <laughs> Wale, Giggs, Vic Mensa. Who else do you have on this 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 amazing project? Yeah, so Quisiata is on the um, yeah on the, on the on the record that's that's out right now yes, as well. Coachella, yeah, yes. Coachella. Um, which ones? We have um, Daco vibes. Mm. I have a young artist that is not really out mm. and that you're trying to put on exactly Fantastic. you know i had a writing camp and then he came and then he just yeah i saw pictures of that yes, that yes. was where everybody came i know zlatan yes. came into town yes, and stuff yes. talk to me about even putting that together yeah at this stage in your career you know because a lot of people don't understand or mm. respect those type yes. of situations talk to me about making a decision to do that exactly so as i said as an artist i feel things when i get to that point so mm. at this point i don't think sarkozy having a hit is is um 
Should be the goal. Exactly. Like Shopsy, you're not gonna freak out because Sakode has a head. Facts. <laughs> exactly. Facts. It's not gonna be like, ooh, Sakode has the biggest mm. song. No, because you have seen that over yep. and over again. So it doesn't excite you. You are you are excited for me, yep. but it's not like you're going to sleep yep. thinking about yep. it. Yep. So at this point, I think the industry has given me what I needed. Um, I've seen giving you all the attention. Um, blessed you with the fans that you deserve. All you have to do now is give back to the industry mm. in a, in any way possible that you can. Mm. Um, Africa signing artists is always dicey because of the expectations yes. and how things are supposed to go. The infrastructure that we have, it doesn't help. Mm. So I've tried signing artists before. I've, uh, it was successful, yep. but I felt like the pressure, and I understand artists think differently, you know, when... To constantly support exactly, and... Exactly, yeah. exactly. I can only do so much. So I decided that I will have platforms that would support mm. artists, and that's how come... Uh, and I just love when I see creatives in one room just creating. It's just beautiful. That's how we used to be when I was coming up. Hmm. And the new artists, what I like is they have this unity. They you hold know, in hand. Exactly. And what happened at the writing camp is a lot of artists were out, but most of them haven't like met each other. Wow. And sometimes because of the respect that they have for me, thank God, if I call on them, they'll, they all they'll come. come up. And just just look at them, just, just hmm. write. Bro, you should you should have been in that wow. session. It's just beautiful. You literally so have, listen, th these guys were recording till like morning. So like around dawn, three, four, these guys are still singing. Wow. I go I go inside, come out and listen to some good music. So it was basically just, you know, creating music. We're gonna put it out um for them, mm. shoot videos for them and just yeah, keep keep that going. I just want to create an industry where we are all together because I've always wanted that, mm. especially for Ghanaian artists. That's why when I did the Apollo, I brought EL, yep. I brought um, Banky, I yep. brought I brought Shatter himself, yep. I brought Kwao Kese. I want that. Remember, man. I want that. It's always been my. I goal. know that's yeah. like a, a big thing in in Ghana. I know Shatter is always talking about it. Stoneboy has men mentioned it in the past as well. That one, the industry is not supporting itself. And second of all, there's been a, a strong criticism of the media back mm. in Ghana that the media doesn't help, uh, that they're only looking for the gossip, the negative sides, mm. and stuff like that. What do you think about that? Mm. And second of all, um, as a media representative, isn't our role to also put a spotlight on whatever it is that's happening? You yes. know, regardless of whether sometimes it's positive or negative. Yeah. Um. I think way back when I wasn't coming to Nigeria, mm. I had a different perception. I was like, oh, you know, Nigerians don't do this and mm. people will do this. But I think it's everywhere, it's you know? It's, and I think you guys are even way harsh than it's my people. Terrible. Yeah, you guys are, you guys can really go in on your artists. I'm like, telling you. I, I, when I listen to yes. you guys going on your artists, it's like, on really. Exactly. It's to finish them all. <laughs> exactly. But one thing I can always say that I think um, when I go on radio in Ghana, I mm. keep talking about this. I think Ghana, naturally, we are people that like to embrace mm. you know we love people we like to invite people Aquaba. In. Aquaba. like didn't you love ghana when you went there oh, come exactly. on, man. you know <laughs> you, listen <laughs> my people are still there right now and i'm jealous yes yes that's you how Ga that's, that's how ghana people. yes that's how yeah. ghana will make you feel mm. so yeah we support that it brings people mm. in but sometimes we need to have an agenda that's what the artists are just talking about the agenda has to be ghana homegrown Home, first homegrown. so if you take me as uh, as an example, um, I do songs with my brothers in Nigeria hmm. all the time, hmm. you know. Um, but sometimes when I set priorities, yeah. if it's a situation where, this is going to get me into trouble, let me just say. Oh, please, If please. there's a situation where yeah. I have my Ghanaian artist maybe here in, in, in London yeah. and wants to link up, and I have maybe some other artists from, from a different country, yeah. me as Sarko there, yeah. first thought would be my Ghanaian brother facts exactly that is that is gonna facts. be my reflex yes first anything else not that doesn't mean i don't support no. anything but that's gonna but be that's like, that should be your standing your starting point exactly so that is what the artists are trying to push on um sometimes the media to focus on there are bigger mm. things that there are bigger things that Ghanaian artists have done but because we are not willing to highlight it mm. and rather looking for faults too much mm. you know because we need to hold on to it these are the few things that are highlights in nigeria mm. that you guys are still holding on to Facts. if you ask me on top of Facts. my head as soon as the branch started moving differently i saw nigeria i knew there was going to be like new crop of artists Wait. following that mm. and it was just back to back and that's what i'm saying that sometimes we sleep on certain things that it shouldn't be slept on mm. fused it incredibly well it's a grammy listen, listen. ODG. so Go ghanaians on, are supposed to make that a very big deal Facts. that's what i'm talking Facts. about so if if we can put too, a lot of energy into 
we see it to be a little thing, but it's it's really huge. What it's happened, big. What happened yesterday? That's a moment. That's a big moment. It's a moment, you know. So we should hold on to that and try mm. to push that more. You can celebrate anybody else, but your priority has to be set right, and that's what most artists are asking of mm. our people. But I think gradually we're having new uh, media guys who are getting it and um, taking up the personal sentiment as. The stick back to you again, yes. Shopsy. I'm sorry. I have, yes. Even if it was another interview, I'll still use you as an example. Please, please. Back, I don't know you. Yeah. I know you 24-7. Yes. I'm pretty sure some artists would definitely piss you off or do something. Of that course. Way. But you have an agenda to push Afrobeat. beat. Facts. <laughs> my job still is my <laughs> it's the job. Same. Which is, at my the goal is, mm-hmm. the bigger we get as a culture, the better for, for you. <laughs> so I some artists that, so that I don't let, even say hello to, ex, but you have but to support. But the record drops. I will support. Let's get it all. Exactly, because it's not for you. Facts. It's not for you, the artist. It's for me. Facts. And I, Facts. I say something funny to uh, my team all the time. I said, listen, you're only benefiting because I'm selfish. Hmm. What I'm doing for you is for me. Yeah. It's, I'm, listen. I'm, I'm thinking about myself, myself, but it's just the breeze <laughs> that's reaching everybody else. Because if it doesn't Facts. go, I'll be stuck. Like, Facts. Um, I, I went on radio and I said, when I was, uh, when Shata did the Beyonce record and people thought there was tension between us and then, mm. yeah, which I, I would I would admit that, yeah, at that at point, that time, they weren't too cool. But listen, this is too big of an opportunity for Ghana, <sighs> Africa, that, that if you're not a deep person and you are not smart, and you, don't you will not utilize that opportunity. That was a spotlight. Yes, because conversations that we've been having with you know, some people some, hmm. to get their minds into Afrobeat. Oh, this what, now. Yes. So now when you go, the conversations are way easier. Facts. But if you don't highlight it and hold on to it, Facts. they don't want to mess with it. Hmm. Hmm. That's what I'm saying. So it will mess my business up. So I think back to, just, just to answer the yeah, question, please. back home to my people, that's all we're asking for. Make it an agenda to support your people. And you end up winning yourself. Absolutely. Exactly. Absolutely. I don't think that's too much to ask. Mm-mm. And again, you know, big shout outs to everybody, especially people like yourself that are really leading from the front mm-hmm. and saying this has to be so. You know, my Ghanaian brothers and sisters in the media, once I touch down Ghana, I'm going to go and embrace people and let them know what the real game is. Exactly. That we need to support these people yeah. to make them win. So we win. Because exactly. most of the time, I I, I, I follow Ghanaian pop culture mm. a lot. So I know a lot of people, you know, all the broadcasters. I love it. I mm. enjoy it. And maybe sometimes a lot of them don't know how much other people outside of the culture True. follows what True. they do. So when all you're, you're, you're pushing out is that this person is that, that person is Facts. this, that's the only stuff Facts. we're also getting. Facts. So there's a lot of power at their fingertips that they out. don't yes mm. that they very don't necessary. know. But now uh, no pressure. The album drops very very soon. Date, yes. date of release. So 9th of July. Uh, but Shopsy, I'm just gonna Sack Nation. I, mm. I don't want them to freak out. It still holds at this point at at the ninth on the 9th of July. Yeah. But there's something special happening that if I don't, I mm. might have to push it a little bit. Mm. I'm not saying I've decided, but for what is happening, it's so like necessary that I need to capture that. So that might affect the release, but we're still going to release a record on the knife. But the album's done. Yeah, I know. There's, <laughs> <laughs> there's something. There's something I can't. I can't mm. talk about. That's you know? big. Yes, it's big, God. and uh, it that's would help if we could, if we could push it. But at this point, it still holds. On the 9th of July, that's my birthday. It will be the best time to release it. The Facts. next day, 10th of my, it's my birthday. It's the best timing to give my fans gift for yeah. my birthday. So it still holds on the 9th of July. But if anything, I'm going to keep you guys posted. Finally, you know, you're a dad, a proud dad. Um, you know, two beautiful kids. Yes. Talk to me about how that has added a little spice to Sarkodie mm. um, as a rapper, Michael as a person. Yes. And and how that has added more value to you? Um, I think my my personality actually breeds that father figure mm. already. I've always been that type of a person, you know. Yes, I like I like nurturing. Mm. I like taking care of stuff. I like being responsible. So I've always wanted kids. I used to I practice a lot with my sister's kids. <laughs> I was practicing like all my life. Uh changing diapers, mm. getting them ready and all that. So I was looking forward to having mine. And finally, and I, I was asking for a female, a girl, Facts. for the first one. Because that sets, yes. that sets a man right. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So as soon as she came, that was a change. Um, I, I've said it before that when she came, she brought an energy that 
was good and it could have been bad if I didn't like and I was well. so I was so excited that I didn't care about anything else mm. which is good but you have to care about a lot of things you know because life man. exactly life still goes on I didn't really care about anything I didn't care about awards it actually hasn't got me, gotten me back fully to mm. how I used to be the things I used to care about mm. I used to care about you know what the I still care about what the fans think, but mm. it was more about living for the fans to be happy. Yeah. You know? So doing stuff that would make the fans happy, which is good. I'll still do that. But at that moment when I had TT and you put a Grammy here, I don't care. Tunnel vision. <laughs> I really don't yeah. care. It's all about TT. So yeah. for like a year or two, I was so into her, so hands on. Then I said to myself, listen, she has to be proud of daddy. You have to go back on the daddy road. Daddy needs to work. Then I got back on the road. So she's already set me in a tone for MJ, who's the new one. Hmm. So MJ is literally an autopilot. Now we just, I don't yeah, know how Everything's to easy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and I won't yeah. be glued to his mom yes, anyway. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, but funny enough, he, he's becoming like, you know what? I thought for a man, I, I would, I still love my yeah. girl. But trust me. Because that's, because you boy, know that's the boy. That's the guy. When the, so he's when, gonna when, when he came, yeah. in my head, I know this is his mommy's boy. Let me just leave him there. But now that's like my G. That's yeah, my, yeah, my yeah. guy. That's your guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he gets a, it. It's a beautiful feeling. That's yeah. amazing, man. Finally, you mentioned the Grammys uh, briefly there. It became a big hoo-ha in Ghana that was go. How come Nigeria, this, that, they created <laughs> club rooms. I went into the club rooms, they tried to bring me to the top, I refused. <laughs> That's how fiery those rooms were. Oh, wow. Because I was trying to tell people that, yo, this is not, because people were trying to say, oh, maybe some people said the quality of the music from Ghana, mm. da, da, da. and I said, listen, for me, you know, I've got King Promise, I've got Beast, I've got Kwame, mm. I've got Kiddy, I've got Effie, I've got Sarko, the Stone Boy, Shata Wale. The list goes on mm. and on. I've been to see uh, Amacha Dede mm. on stage. You understand mm. what I think? I'm talking in the last one. So if you're telling me about great music, yeah. generational great music, it is there. True. So don't even be thinking about that. That's out. But let's think about other things. Maybe promotion, maybe mm -hmm. going outside of town. What are your thoughts mm -hmm. about that whole situation? The fact that people felt that maybe Ghanaian artists, this, da, 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 the Grammys. Mm. Is this something you think about? And, and what do you think needs to change for some of the incredible talent that are in Ghana yes. to get that spotlight in the world? Um, I always see the positive side of things. So when I, when I see that energy what i say to myself is actually the, the fact that they're putting pressure on you because niger won mm. it's a good thing because mm. africa is not just ghana and nigeria <laughs> <laughs> africa is that's like true. we are talking about a continent so the people who are not mentioned should actually feel bad facts facts you get it so facts. if they felt like you weren't close to it you're not going to be compared to them mm. so if you take the states, if Jay Z does something, they're not gonna say, "Oh, why is Shatawali not doing the same?" Yeah. Probably because they don't, they think it's too far. Yeah. But yeah. if it's Niger, they feel like, "Nah, but Niger is the same as Ghana." Yeah, what's going on? Yeah, here. exactly. Yeah, you know, yeah. So I get it. That's the first point that I picked out. Mm. Guys, you should be proud of yourself. The fact that you are mentioned next to these incredible mm. moments, mm. that should tell you that you have. There's a possibility that it's going to happen. Absolutely. And I think me and you in the industry, we know there's a lot of factors that yes. goes into these things. Yes. I will always take. Um, the only problem we have now is because Africa has been split into yes. countries yeah. but if we see Bernard as African yep. then these fights won't happen yeah. right yeah I agree yes I so agree. first and foremost is for Africa Bernard Facts. took it we just all have to celebrate Facts. and it op opens the door for to everybody else, else to be able to come through um, I'm not going to take out the fact that business wise there are things that we should be doing mm. and people always keep talking about when something works they're like have you seen how this worked here yeah, mm. because that is what you've seen. There's a possibility that something that could work. work. Exactly. Facts. They could be working in a different way as well. So when something is working, you feel like this is this is what's going. Like, mm. Don't you see this? I've I've experienced that in my whole career. So I see things differently. Mm. When I was coming up, I did songs like Push Boga Boga and Lay Away mm. with, with Sway. And I go to producers to help me. And as soon as they listen to the music, they're like, ah, man, oh, you know, this, this is not the sound. Exactly. You know, the radio, <laughs> that's kind of songs they're playing. And that yeah. time was of rap on Sam, yeah. Yeah. KK Fusu, oh! hard, like oh, hard God, life. Yeah, exactly. So, they don't have time to listen to rap and mm. ba bass line kick and like, it, is, it didn't make sense. Mm. As much as I felt that's what I wanted to do, I could understand a commercial person who wants to make money. Fact. He thought that this is work. never 
going to be possible. Guess but guess what? what? The same songs that I played for these guys are the songs that made me big in Ghana. Facts. And not, not just regular songs. These are songs that stood for Ghana. Facts. Right? That became so identities. at this point that if they are feeling that this is how things are going, it's how could they, don't you see that Bernard did this and that's mm. what you're supposed to do and this and that. Yeah, we have some good facts that you could follow but that shouldn't be the benchmark that this for is how everybody. you're exactly M. I it's going to me it's going to come in ago. it's going to come in different ways people are going to the same destination somebody will use it somebody will use that and i feel like ghana at this point sonically <laughs> we have it i take my hats off to you guys for uh, you can dance around it and not mm. accept it but trust me you guys have a way that you're so into yourself mm. That is how I take yeah. strong countries, strong yeah. people. If yeah. you're so into yourself, it makes it a- attractive for people to look into what you're doing. Yes, yes. So if we get into ourselves, which time to time we, we have that moment. That Zonto moment was for Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I was we going were to say so, that. We were so into ourselves. Azonto became just as important as diamond and crude oil yes. when they're talking <laughs> about identity. I'm telling Export. you, bro. True. True, hey. true. And that's what I'm saying. We so. felt left out. <laughs> we were chasing, changing the job. We called it a lingo. We yes. did anything. And 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 Rude Boy said it so yeah. perfect. I watched an uh, interview yeah. on on um, YouTube. Yeah. And then they asked him the same question. He said, listen, Nigeria, we are sharp now. Mm. Listen, we will take it and run with it. Because we, we refuse to see the bigger picture. That mm. this is happening. We guys, we should hold on to it. And, and make it seem like a very big thing. Hmm. But we, we, I remember when we're doing Azonto, when I do Azonto records, now they keep telling me, Sakode, we're tired. You're tired of what? For what, bro? This incredible moment, you're tired. I guess I might have to just, um, already I'm a hip hop artist. I'm not. So let me just exactly, get in my name. <laughs> exactly. Let me make a job bars then. Exactly. But if we held on to it, pushed it, it would have been something really huge. I think that is what I like to, uh, I would like to tell my people. Hmm. It's, it's, it's quite uh, the conversation we're having because mm. of who you are and mm. who, I, who I am. It's very hard to like have the conversation openly. But we but, have to. But we what I'm to. saying is so people can there learn. are little things that I see from Nigeria mm. that you guys are so into yourself. Yeah. Sometimes you say, oh, yeah, you have your beefs. Yeah. You, you go hard on your artists. Yeah. Yeah. But your priority is your people. Facts. Fact. And as soon as you do that, any country that does that, it makes you want to know why. More. It's like when you go to a family that's organized, you have the dad, yes. the mom, yeah. the kids that sit by the table, they're, they're everybody's eating, they're calm, everybody's, yeah. And when you go home, your family, they are fighting, your dad is down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You always want to go to that house. Hmm. And that's the same thing that is happening. So if we get into that's what deep. we are doing and support it more, I think it's always possible. Because... Um, you see, people are making a big deal. It's a big deal that mm. Bernard, Bernard won the award, yeah. right? But that I'm pretty sure if you do research, there's... No, there was a Ghanaian band that won the award, for a Grammy Award exactly. four years ago. Okay, so do you know why that wasn't well, a big... Uh, that nobody, wasn't a big uh, no? I, I just actually started saying it again, like, exactly. bro. No, but even, listen, I watched the B, BET page, I think BET UK, uh, when I did the... When um, Bernard did the Apollo, and they said yeah. the, first Af- the, the first Afrobeat yeah. artist to do to the do Apollo. It. And I'm like... No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I was no there. People the first, exactly, have done it. Exactly Whiskey did everybody. So sometimes these things we have to hold on to what we're doing to have a movement Facts. so that when something happens, it makes sense. Do you know why Afrobeat, do you know why Berner, Wes, myself, whatever hmm. we do is, is news? Because hmm. there is a movement. Facts. To back what you're doing. Facts. So when, when Berner goes, it's a whole community yeah. of Afrobeat. That, that is why to... it makes sense. So if you break it down to Ghana, we should have the same approach. We should have something Facts. happening in Ghana. Facts. So that when Sarkodie does something, everybody it sits, sees it as a path Ghana. to exactly. move. You get it. I you agree know? with yeah. you, my brother. No, 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 enough said. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, sitting down with the incredible icon, uh, a legend all the way from West Side of Africa, Ghana to be exact, the Gold Coast representing. Mm-hmm. Brand new album comes out in a jiffy. Yes. No, pressure no pressure is what we're pushing right now. Give it up to my brother, the icon. Sarkode! Bless you, bless you, bless you. Thank you very much for coming to so my much, brother. Man. Always a pleasure bless to have you. a conversation with you. Bless man. you. Thank you.